this will be my last update for my hashtag WIG 2022. Let's grow. Pomegranate sapling. Coxcomb flowers. Red bok choy. Baby bok choy. Champagne bubble tomato. Pretty and sweet peppers. Yeah, so what had happened was I had to move the peas because apparently they didn't like it over there by that fan. I don't know what's going on with that Miss Suna back there. That's just, oh, uh, well, I almost dropped my phone. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that Miss Suna back there. But I'll put a couple more seeds in there. And that's what's growing on with this update. And for knowing this seedling before it was a sapling, FR Humphrey, congratulations. Your pomegranate is on the way. I'll be removing the peas and swapping it out for some lettuce. She mama grows. So as I'm doing my walkthrough of my plants this morning for the hashtag WIG2022, I noticed the pomegranate. I was like, what? What is going on? It was so skinny. I was like, oh my God, what is it? To make a long story short, I picked up the pomegranate. And yeah, you see it. A mushroom growing right out of the bottom. So, I'm gonna leave that. in there and pull back on the watering a little bit tomato plant all the way up into the light again I'm thinking once it starts doing something I'm probably gonna cut the top off. Hashtag WIG2022. What you gonna do? Grow something? Well, that's the best I can do for now. At least I know it won't fall down and Snap in half. So, yeah. Tomato plant attached to the microphone pole. No lid. G Mama grows here with my champagne bubble tomato plant. Yeah, don't worry about that plant right there. But any curve, I had to put it in a bigger pot. The pot had totally dried out. I was like, what is going on 
with the leaves and why they keep drying and dying. So, let me finish up potting this and see how it does from here. Now that was a plant party. Champagne bubble tomato. Droopy leaves and all. But it is what it's going to be. Hmm. At least she's standing up off of the light now. Still got the droops. But she's trying. I'm sure she'll make it now. Mama grows. Here with an update for my hashtag WIG2022. Pomegranate. Coxcomb flower. Looks like it's starting to flower. Pretty and sweet peppers. Bunch of flowers on here. And my tomato plant that I repotted twice already. It is now in soil. the red bok choy and the baby bok choy still kicking it and feeding me no that let's grow Let me prune my pepper plant so I can get some more fruit and put a little more air underneath there. Yeah, due to some real life changing events, I couldn't upload my last video in time, but please know I will continue to grow indoors and I encourage you to grow something.
Now I'm learning growing indoors is a whole nother realm of gardening indeed. Yeah, I started deep water culture back in 2018 with three gallon hydroponic buckets. And since I've wanted to grow in soil and now I have. I'll be the bee inside any day to feed myself. Hopefully I don't kill it, but I'm about to take it out and treat it because it's full of mites. Ah. That's why the leaves are looking dusty. There's a better shot. Maybe. Yeah, you see him? But let me go get my little concoction and uh them because I got a flower coming out of there and I want to see it you know that last shot of this coxcomb flower before I take it out of the pot and look at the roots like Wow. Real quick, got them all potted up. Probably should have waited until it fruited, but we in here. And yeah, the leaves are looking a little raggly, but we are mite free. And the flower is coming out. So. Shout out to GT Junior Grows It in Alaska for having this awesome indoor gardening growing challenge. May all our gardens thrive and be bountiful. Happy gardening, comrades. Let's grow something.